Good morning to you all and welcome for the word of God and the reflections today. We are in the first week of the ordinary time, Thursday. You know, I am in I am doing my personal my private retreat in Mother Cabrini shrine since Monday, Monday to Friday, this Friday. So please keep me in your prayers and I do pray for you. It's a beautiful experience being alone in the presence of God, doing nothing but being in His presence. It's an amazing experience. Let's begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. A leper came to him and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand and he touched the leper and said to him, I do will be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately and he was made clean. Then warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread, spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places and people kept coming to him from everywhere. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So dear brothers and sisters, you know, the leper did not say, make me clean. But rather, the leper said to Jesus, if you will, you can make me clean. You know, here leper believed. He believed if it is um, not the will of God, he would continue to suffer. But if it is his will, he would gladly accept healing. He does not doubt in the power of Jesus, but he submits to his will to God. So we must know that God has the ability to do anything, to heal or not to heal. Hence, we must humbly acknowledge that God knows what is best for us. So leave it into God's hands. So Jesus stretched out his hand and he touched the leper. You know, dear brothers and sisters, according to the Jewish law, you know, the touching a leper would render her person unclean. So there is only one person who can transfer cleanliness and that is God alone. And that's what Jesus did by his touch. Jesus did not become unclean, rather leper became clean. Every time we touch and consume the Eucharistic Jesus, the Holy Mass, we are rendered holy. Are we aware of this? Why did Jesus tell the leper to go and show himself to the priest? Is the priest higher than the Jesus, the high priest? Certainly not. We must know that the leper had been an outcast. The moment he was a leper, his leprosy did allow him to meet the people. Even his own family members, since it was contagious, people used to avoid the lepers to come close to them. So they were outcast. They were living outside the society. They were not allowed to come into the society, into the communities, into their families. So if he wanted to re-enter into the society, he would have had to go to the priest to be announced clean. 
by healing jesus restored him his health but to restore him the entry into the society he had to show himself to the priest jesus was not only concerned about his physical healing but also the social healing so thanks be to god thanks be to god we may not be lepers physically we have a better skin we have the better skin but yet we all need spiritual cleansing from the leprosy of sins every sin that we commit we become impure we become unclean before god it is a spiritual leprosy the physical leprosy the person is away from the people they were untouchable but whereas physical leprosy is away from the people as well as away from god who created us it's more dangerous physical spiritual leprosy we need to risk ourselves which are those areas i am still unclean still i am leper within myself my anger my pride my selfishness my immorality maybe my unforgiveness my judging others gossiping there are list goes on and on and on we need to introspect ourselves and see which are those which are those areas i am still unclean i need cleaning i need cleansing i need to acknowledge my own unworthiness i need to acknowledge my uh, spiritual leprosies and to run to jesus for the healing in the sacrament of confession that's why sacrament of confession is very very important for us it will help us guide us our journey to god so let us never take for granted this sacrament confession let us receive it receive it regularly in our life because this spiritual leprosy will make our life in everything mess in everything mess jesus is ever willing to cleanse us are we willing to be cleansed let us pray lord jesus inflame my heart with your love and make me clean in body mind and spirit may i never doubt your love nor cease to tell others of your mercy and compassion hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen the lord be with you with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen god loves you keep smiling